All right, good luck. All right, so it's been a long time since our previous uh, Shogi teaching ladder game. So we are going to see just how much we learn this time. Um, all right, so here we have a bishop exchange opening. Um, let's see how uh, there are, there's moves that can be played here. Uh, give me a second to remember like what the heck I normally do. Um, since I don't see this every day. Wait, wait, wait. That's risky. Um, I mean, it's fine, but... I think this is okay. Alright, so there's the silver. Um, let me see. How exactly do I play this again? Right. Okay, so if I push my pawn, there's a bishop drop right into my camp. That's not super pleasant, so instead, what do I play? Huh. <laughs> So this prevents me from playing Mino, unless I come up with something creative. Um, I think this is right. I'm not completely sure. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So here we have a classic wrong diagonal bishop. Um, trouble am I trying to afford myself here? Um, my silver doesn't really belong here.
Wait, can I not lift my rook here? Or is the silver advance too much for me to deal with, perhaps? Um, what have I missed here? <sighs> what is going on? I don't understand. This is pretty complicated for me. Um, yes, this bishop drop is not correct. If there's some other bishop drop, I missed it. But either way, this position's getting pretty complicated. What I did overlook until it was too late was this gold advance, but maybe that's not a problem. Okay, interesting. Um... Is this where we wanted this bishop to be? No. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, that's a problem. Um... Okay, every problem has some positive aspect to it. This one's going to take quite a bit of imagination, but we can find something that's positive about this. Um, Whatever. It's just a bishop. And by that I mean it's just two bishops, because you don't give up pieces. Uh, as single entities in this game. If you give one up, you're down two pieces. Um, but that's okay, somehow. It's gotta be okay. Um, Oh, this bishop promotes here, doesn't it? Well, that's not ideal. Um... Hmm. <laughs> so I was most afraid of bishop 5-5 five five drop, which is not happening anymore. Um, obviously they're getting a knight, which is going to hurt, but, um, we can still make something positive happen. Um, okay.
is there a way for me to attack here? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want my rook to be attacked. But that's not something I have a choice over anymore. Um... I've just lined up my rook with where a lance is going to drop. Um, if I'm lucky. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. How... How is my attack this slow? This is not ideal. Oh. Well, okay. Um, interesting. Hmm. So how do I make something of this? This is not ideal at all. But, um... Yeah, I... I have no... Not very many words. But quite a few utterances. Right, so he attacks my rook. Um, I mean, at this point, I need to attack in the center. I'm not super afraid of giving away the rook. In fact, trying to escape the rook doesn't help me at all, so, um, yeah, I might as well attack here at the only target I can identify.
Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to take the horse, but just in case, is there anything else? Um, Okay, so we have a pawn drop on the bishop's head. Um, which I don't think it's very far. Um,
that's a problem. That's several problems. Um, all wrapped into one much larger problem. Oh, goodness. made it? I think I'm getting made it. Am I getting made it? That's a different question. Um... I really didn't want this to be a necessary move here, but it looks necessary. Um, I have no attack. I've run out of pieces, and any pawn drop I could do would be illegal. Uh, that's not good. pawn drop I can do would be illegal. Basically any move I can do here is illegal. Uh, so yeah, finding a good move is going to be pretty hard. dead here. Alright, uh, good game.
Uh, oh, right, that's what the button there does. All right, wow. Um, yeah, right. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you're absolutely right. Um, oh, wow, wow, wow. All right, well, that was a, an adventure. Um, uh... Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> Certainly. Yes. Thank you. I wanted to offer it, but wasn't sure how best to offer it. Um. Um. Yeah, so this obviously is not the greatest demonstration of Bishop Exchange. Um, completely blanked. Uh, okay. Ah, this is how you do it. Yeah. I've seen this before. It's just too much for me to remember, but I, I can remember this now. Yeah, because my plan did not really work super well here. Um, yeah. Uh, there's two things I have to learn if I'm going to play this stuff. One is this. Uh, yeah, Hidechi shows this line. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's sharp stuff. I need to become familiar with it. If I'm going to play this, and I really should play this, it's worth me experimenting with this bishop exchange and then raising my silver, putting uh, an opposing rook and all that. Um, yes, I should become familiar with it. <laughs> Yeah, this too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's pretty. Look, it's pretty wild. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That could be a good fun time next time that I get uh, Gota, if I manage to. Study that enough in time that I'm ready for it, or if I'm not. Um, yeah, looks viable, but difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Why did I, uh, jeez, uh, uh, that, that's something. Yeah, I missed that I had that. That was my plan. Um, again, I completely spaced out. That is really strange. Um, yeah, still an even game, but, like, that's the thematic way to do this. Um. Okay. Yes. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
I don't know, like... Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, I've never played it before. Only watched uh, videos. Uh, uh, so, yeah. So I'm not super familiar. I should be, but yeah. Okay, there are easier openings, which are less ambitious than this, but um, there definitely are easier ways to play. Like, bishop exchange is pretty complicated. <laughs> it's common. I should know it. I should get experience playing it. This game was an experience, but... Um, yeah, that was uh, something. I ended up looking kind of dumb here, but um, that's okay. Yeah. I should have castled a little bit better before starting some sort of attack like this. Um... Yeah. If I'm an experienced player, and I'm familiar, uh, oh, ah, this is a good point. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, because I'm just waiting for the attack to strike here. Um, right, and there's this, and then there's a bishop drop that's eventually coming. I can counter here. Um, okay. Oh, ah. This is interesting. Yeah. So this is the trickier way for me to try to play this, if he does that. Um, so, right. So you'll have to do something about my potential threat before um, carrying out his attack. And somehow this is okay. Okay, yeah, even though I can't drop my pawn into the knight's head or anything like this, is okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's fair. Is this fine? Okay. I'm confused then, like... Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, uh, my attack isn't... Oh... Yeah. Which is what happened in the game, is that I lost the bishop. Um, which is not great. Yeah, probably does. Either way, it's I'm giving up Tempe. I don't think it's good for you to take this pawn. Yeah, that would be a strange location uh, for a rook here, I think. Uh, yeah. Right. So I could promote a bishop. Um, yeah. At least I saw one of these points. That makes sense. Like, this is a good time for me to play something slow, calm, rational, when I'm not sure what to do. Instead, I tend to panic when I'm not sure what to do, which is not very good. It's not very effective. Um, Bishop diagonal is a very weak point of the twin golds. Um, oh, okay. Ah, uh, so that this is why we want to make it difficult to access that point. Oh. Why it's not advised to play two in golds against this? She can be sure. Usually Mino or something else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I make uh, some other move and he takes my bishop, then I do have a threat to promote my rook. Um... Better attack here. Oh. Okay. Um, hmm. 
close, I need to use my silver and knife uh, or something to attack. Oh, and yeah, also doing something about the bishop drop. Um, it's probably important. Yeah. Like, I considered this sort of thing, and I guess I was afraid of this. I don't know. It's not so easy. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. Like, it's too late for me to try to build a castle now. I've committed. We need to find an attack. This is the time to attack, so, like... Yeah. Instead, I do my gold move and um, yeah, I'm just out of ideas. Uh, but. I don't know, I guess maybe this instead. Um, hmm. Try repetition, perhaps. Oh, okay. Sure, but yeah, this is a reasonable. So, yeah. Sure. My attack did cause him to think a bit. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, no, that absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I need to uh, build my castle and become familiar with what the castle looks like. Like, I know the Twin Gold Castle, but it's not recommended here, and I wasn't happy with it. I knew it was a castle, but apparently Mino is actually viable once I learned my way to get there. I've studied Mino, but I didn't see it being possible in this move order, but I need to go back and study that further. Um, yeah... So, uh, hang on. Didn't I see something here? Mm, I thought I saw something here. Um, right. Let's see. 
right, and then this. Saw this. I guess with the silvers, it's a bit harder. Yeah. night um, promotion check uh, but yeah definitely need to check it um, I wonder, maybe we go back a little bit further. Um, very much looks like mate I'll be damned if it's not but um, maybe I'll be damned what do I know fatalistic here. I needed to play the move that gave me a chance instead of no chance. <sighs> yeah. attacker or pieces in better positions yeah so yeah he's got time for this move um. yeah I needed to try this anyway because the game clearly ended in defeat. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I... Yeah. I needed to try this. I hallucinated. That's my problem. But I needed to try this. Um, instead of what actually happened in the game. Um, wait, what? Really? Huh. This is, um, I am confused. Um, okay. Okay, what's the point? I'm sure we'll see it very soon. 
This is like the same except pawn drop. Oh. Wait, did I see something different here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of interesting too. Although with the second lance, yeah, that's hard for me to survive. But anyway, I'm not, he's not in a threat mate, so this doesn't, I don't win, but this is a chance. Uh, yeah. What did I, oh. Okay. Maybe go the other way with the king. This is a chance, yeah. Whereas, like, what I did, no chance. <laughs> so, well, no, this is not so clear either. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the way to have a chance. Whereas, what I did, um, he could block with any piece on this square. on my part. <laughs> I mean, at this point I'm doing what I can, but this is like nowhere near and I'm just getting mated. Yeah, I am actually curious what the most economical mate... He oh! Oh! Nice. This is interesting. That's well played there. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, and for the analysis. Uh, uh, not at uh, this time, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this is very good. Take care. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so that that was a lesson um, and a game. So how was that for my first bishop exchange? could have gone better um, there's a lot safer lines if I don't want to play this there are safer lines I could play if I don't want to play Bishop exchange like maybe don't offer it that that's one possibility certainly like the llama Lord plays this thing this would be a possibility um, but yeah like there's much not only in the opening here that I can study but um, yeah, not only in the early opening, but also like transposing into this stuff. It's doable, but um, yeah. And then playing the twin golds against this was difficult because, as he points out, this is the weak point. Maybe he meant this, but like it's difficult for me to play a low castle against this thing, which is going to break open files. It's, this is not the ideal castle of choice to play against that. Now, what I saw um, is this, 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 and then here. Um, this is a standard opening trap. So, like, yeah, clearly this is not the greatest timing for me to play Mino. Uh, if I am going to play Mino, I have to do it like this. And I do have time to play it. And this is fine. Now there might be some other move ordering something or other, like 
but let's get out of the opening. Um, and yeah, the, I needed to finish a castle, like Destiny was saying. So um, yeah, just play this sort of thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure what, like, so unlike Mino, this is not necessarily part of the castle. Um, so with the twin gold castle, this is the weak point. Potentially this might be pushable. Maybe this is something that gets pushed. But you don't want to push these too far up because you don't have silvers in front of that. Um, but yeah, just complete the castle. Study whatever this castle is. Um, we also saw that um, if I wanted to play this get his pawn out of hand and then back, this is viable too. This way I have an open line for my rook and maybe can consider an attack later. Um, so, And I'm not doing this just... This is more for my benefit than for my audience. Just to reinforce that I've actually learned something here. Uh, yeah, so my bishop dropped, just trapped my bishop, which was super painful. We looked at the alternative and me trying to promote the rook here, but no, this is the way I've got to try to attack. Um, yeah, now at this point, completing the castle is mistimed. Like, yes, this is not super great, but I need to try something like this instead of just folding over. So, I don't know, maybe this, maybe not. It's hard. But, yeah, maybe I play something like this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, having played this, I haven't opened the fourth file here. This is like, you don't open the fourth file in this uh, opening because it leads to this fork here, like he pointed out. So, yeah, I basically yeah, did a lot of things not super great. Um, I did spot some attack later in the game, managed to make something of it. He did mention repetition as a possibility. So, like, we could potentially, well, hang on, what happened in the game? In the game I tried to attack here, so he mentions this, so like one repetition idea is this, but we're not going to end that way, because like, he's going to find this move instead. And if I get the horse for, um, the rook, that's fine. Um, that's at least something we can try. I mean, we could try to repeat again. They're going to give us this. Now they've got a rook, whatever. It's it's a game. We have to try something. Um, yeah, so this pawn advance was unnecessary and did not contribute toward my attack in any way. I have to try something. It's hard to find something here, but I have to try anyway. Um... So, yeah, potentially there's stuff like this. Um, I mean, again, I'm giving up my rook, and I just have to accept that. Um, I don't know. Consult your engine. There's some attacking ideas, but this pawn advance does not help my castle, and it's not an attacking idea, and does nothing about this weakness here. So, like, this is uh, where I'm most prone. If they can open this diagonal and open the file, I am hosed. And that is what happened in the game. Um, so I shuffled a bit and kept shuffling. Um, oh, so yeah. Then we had this counterattack idea, which I did try to read out. Um... Well, I think there were two problems I saw with this. One was the potential, this uh, sacrifice of the rook leading to this dragon promotion. That's one idea I saw. The other I saw, and I forgot to mention this during our post-game analysis, is that um, this doesn't quite work out here. Oh, hey, welcome. 
Yeah, we're just doing the post game analysis, uh, the post post game analysis, my review of Destiny's analysis of my game. Um, so yeah, we exchange a bit. I start attacking again. This oh, I'm sorry. This is where he was recommending that. Um, and the idea is that that in combination with this might offer some chances. Um, and this is where I was looking at like this kind of sacrifice, or maybe they put some other pieces around here to try to checkmate me somehow. Um, I didn't... Well, okay, I'm sorry. They only have one bishop. But one thing we didn't look at in post-game analysis was this, which is a threat mate where this is the mate threat um, but yeah there's lots of ways to try to defend this um, but like he's winning anyway but this bishop drop is far superior to the one I tried in the game um, hey welcome Abigail so yeah Abigail's gonna cry when he sees where I drop my bishop that's where I put it. I completely missed this possibility. And then I thought, well, okay, I have to try to do something with my bishop, but this is too slow. And Destiny was right. If he wanted to, or needed to, he could just put another piece down. Um, it's like, this is why the pawn drop is so effective. But um, that was not even necessary here, because I'm just getting mated. Uh, I tried to put up a resistance... Um, yeah, and the rest was history. Uh, I was somewhat proud that I found the mate here, so. So that was that. 